So the footer that I designed with Coastal um, has location, and then a, a, a text module that has a little menu in it, which is just text, it's not an actual WordPress menu, and then contact here. So I'm going to show you how to edit this footer, and then another cool thing about it. So I'm going to go to Divi Theme Builder, and here's our global footer. I'm going to go ahead and edit this. And this is where you would change the call to action here is also part of the footer. So if you don't want this on every page, um, you would remove it. But first I'd copy it and put it on a couple other pages first and then remove this. And that'll take this off of all other, other pages. Obviously you change your logo here and you'd resize it how you want, going to the sizing area and changing these values. And then, like as I mentioned, this is just a text module that I put links in. And so you can adjust all those by going to the text area here and then adjusting the hover, the color of the links and the hover cover, color of the links here in the, in the link tab. The other thing is by default, well, lastly, this copyright 2023, that's actually a year short code that's built in so you don't have to go back every year and update the update the year it's it's going to use wordpress's time function and do that for you and then it's showing this short version you know normally you'd have copy 2023 dash client name dash terms dash policy dash site by your development you know your development company so then you might want to change the visibility of this first one to maybe disable on tablet as well because it might be too long for tablet and drop the two lines and that's what the second one is here for it's just the same thing as up here but things are stacked so it'd be copyright you know next line client name next line terms next line privacy and then side by your deal and this one right now is just being shown on phone only so you turn this off you know this turn this disable off for tablet if you know so you could be mindful of that the other thing that's happening is normally on normally on tablet these would stack it would stack this would be first locate it'd be logo then location then menu then contact but that felt weird to me I wanted the the menu to be first in on the footer and so I wrote some CSS to make that happen so where that middle column is first and then location and then contact um, and so if you don't like that you can just go here to the theme file editor, go down to the footer, which is all the way at the bottom, and you can just ditch this whole thing right here. You can just delete all of that. But that's where it's saying, hey, on tablet and below, change the order of the, of the footer columns. And you can study this code and use this in other sections of your website um, that you'd want to reorder the columns on, uh, on different on mobile and tablet um, you gotta in this case I'm, I'm giving the section a class of coastal footer and then I'm giving my row here that I'm moving things around in a class of footer row and then each row each column is you know footer location this one's probably going to be footer nav or footer links and then footer contact and so that's that's kind of the setup in order to target that coastal footer section the row make it flex and so on your other let's say you use this on another Divi project it would be whatever you whatever class you gave your section and then whatever class you gave the row and then you can go in and target those individual columns and reorder them using this order thing. Pretty sweet. But yeah, that's how you um, edit and work with the footer in Coastal. All right, y'all. Cheers.